puppy. Puppy do. Guess what I just finished making, honey bunny. Hey, Rooney. Oh no, oh my gosh, Betty. I can't tell you guys apart anymore. <laughs> Are you a good girl? Betty, come check out the first bundle of homemade kitty teaser toys that I put together. What do you think? What do you think, honey bunny? You into it? Yes, you are. Because you're a little lady. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, so in this bag, I have 39, because I'm keeping one for them. But I have 39 of these that I just handmade. I wasn't kidding. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I put out a video last week, I think it was, of when I took these braids out of my head. Oh, you like that? Oh, yes you do. And as I was taking them out, I was trying to figure out what am I gonna do with all these braids because I kinda have an obsession with being resourceful. Where are we going? And I thought, holy moly, I, I think I'm gonna make some teaser toys out of these things. And you guys, lo and behold, I most certainly did. Look at how excited Puppy is, he can't contain it. He, he has to get it out, all of the excitement. Oh, God. So clearly, <laughs> these are, I tested them before, but these are Kitty Crew approved. And, I don't know, I was worried about how well it would stick together, but the feather's not coming out, and nothing is, is being pulled out. And what's even more exciting is after I show you how I put these together here in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you guys how you can how you can get one or two for yourself. Hey, Roni. Like I said, I just, I did 40. I put together 40, but I have another 20 or 30 to put together. So a very limited supply of these very customized <laughs> kitty teaser toys have been put together and are gonna be available for you guys. And I will link in the description below how you can get one or two or as many as you want for your feline fur babies. Look at these athletes. And I'll also put it in the pinned comments. So <laughs> without any further ado, let me show you guys how I put these together. Good girl. All right, what you will need, well, in my case, some braids. <laughs> if you don't have those and you wanna kind of mimic this DIY, you can just use braided together shoelaces or ribbon. I also got these dowel rods from Walmart. They're 10 packs and they are 3 eighths of an inch, perfect size. I also got that clear stretch cord, uh, 0.8 millimeter, also from Walmart, and it ended up working out great. Craft feathers, a little, that little black drill thing, not necessary. We didn't end up using it. There's Alfred, hello, and a drill. So this step isn't really necessary. Again, I just did it. If you watched my video about the braids, I talked about a vinegar rinse you should do before putting them in. So that's what I did here to get the chemical film that's sprayed on top of the hair off because this is gonna go in the kitty's mouth. So I wanted to make sure that it was as safe as can be. So I ended up soaking them for 30 minutes is enough. I think I forgot about them for about an hour. Then I rinse them in warm water and just let them dry. And you could see, look at all that on top, that white stuff, that's the chemical film that we rinsed off. So I'm really glad I took this step. So now to the drilling. So you can see at first I was gonna use that little black thing, don't know the name of it, that I showed in the beginning. But I ended up just kind of measuring the perfect place to put the string through. And originally I was gonna drill through that. But then I'm like, you know what? I think I could just do it. I think I could just eyeball it. And guess what? It worked out just fine. See, look at that, perfect. And it was super duper fast. I think I forgot to mention the drill bit number. So I'll, I'll pop that up on the screen right now because I don't know off the top of my head. But perfect size and I just went for it. You could see it, it took a little bit. By the way, if you're new to this channel, uh, welcome. Here I talk about a lot of kitty stuff, especially feline nutrition, raw cat food, little DIYs like this and things for humans too, like stress management tips, recipes, workouts, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you wanna join the Cat Lady Fitness family, please do so. I'd love to have you. Click the subscribe button below and get notified whenever I put out videos of DIYs that have cool, drill holes in the shape of smiley faces in a plank because that is how I do here. And you can see I just drilled 40 right there. So that took a minute. Now, when I first started assembling this, put the stretch cord through the hole, again, perfect fit. And I was gonna kind of decorate these dowels, but then I decided, I don't know, it might come off on your hands if you're holding it. 
and have sweaty hands or something. So I went against that. Otherwise, trust me, I would have spray painted them gold or something. But at first, you could see I put it through the hole and then I did a bunch of wrapping around and it just unraveled. And that's when I was kind of nervous and kind of unsure about this clear stretch cord because unless you really tighten it super duper tight, it just unravels kind of like a, I mean, like a stretch cord. You really, really have to put that tension on it, which is what I learned. So then I just kind of decided to move on to the braid part. And at first I thought I would put the feather towards the top, but then I was like, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's part of the teaser end of it. So then I took it out and I went ahead and wove the feathers through the braids. And that's why if you aren't using old box braids that you happen to have on hand, you can just braid some yarn or some ribbon or some shoelace together and then just weave or braid in the feather at the end. And that ended up perfect. So then I went ahead and started tying it up. And when I did this, you guys, if you do this and you use this kind of cord, you really have to super duper tighten it. So make sure your hands, like you didn't just lotion up your hands and, and make them really tight. And I did at least a minimum of six, seven knots on both the braid end and then here on the dowel rod end. And honestly, I know you're not supposed to use your teeth for stuff, but this took so long. I would say when I first started and doing it like this and really making sure I tightened it up, each dowel took like 10 minutes, which if you're just making one or two, that's not too bad. But if you're making <laughs> 60, <laughs> which is gonna be what I'm gonna end up making, that's a long time. From there, I decided that I was just gonna kind of segment this out. So I decided to cut all of the lengths of the stretch cord that I needed, and then I could have it match the number of dowel rods and the number of braids, so it could just be like an assembly line. So I did that, and from there, I just got going and sat here for a little bit and made at least three or four sitting in this position. You could see, it's, this is me just working on one this whole time and sometimes it would come unraveled, sometimes it wouldn't, but it ended up sticking because I, I tested it with the cats and what I was starting to say is I learned that using your teeth to give it a good stretch and a good pull when tightening every one, ooh, that just made it so much easier. I know, I know that's bad advice, don't do that at home, but that's what I ended up doing. Honestly, you just want to really make sure that those knots are tight because otherwise, it will just unravel. And here's my supervisor making sure that I'm doing everything properly. Yeah, I spent forever on these first couple really trying to make sure with my hands only that it was super duper tight. But despite all of that, and here I'm weaving that feather in again, it turned out and it turned out pretty good. I was pretty excited at this point. But then later on, I moved to a table, which made more sense. And you can see here, I left the length of that stretch cord on just in case it does happen to unravel so it'd be easier to tie back up again this is an example of when i was cutting it before but it just is a better idea just in case even though it might not be as aesthetically pleasing now it's time for the true test the kitty crew review test so we had to take it to the ground for full authenticity nope not the ones on the ground babe this one Nope, not those. Come on, that's an easy target. No, don't mess with those. Yeah, mess with this one. Oh, shoot. Well, that's, it's staying together. Alfred. Oh, you wanna play? Oh, does everybody wanna play? Oh boy, oh boy, oh goodness. Does everybody approve? <laughs> oh, here she comes. What do you guys think? Yeah! Oh, it's holding up! Look at that! Oh, I'm so happy. All of my effort. Everybody's here and excited about the expensive braids that didn't last in my head. Look at how, look at how resourceful we are, you guys! Alfred, yeah, oh, you got it! Oh, shoot! All right, this is definitely kitty approved. <laughs> Makes me so happy. <laughs> Ooh, little hunter. I'm very surprised that that feather is holding up. I just kind of wove it in there. Anyway, we got three down and like uh, 50 to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, 
This will give me time to catch up on some podcasts or something. All right, guys, that is it. You can see it's kitty approved. That is my DIY kitty teaser toy out of box springs. If you liked this video or if you plan on trying this yourself, please click that thumbs up below because that would help us get into the eyes of even more kitty lovers who want to make homemade toys. And if you want one of these actual teasers that I made myself, I will leave a link in the description below and also in the pinned comment on how you can get one or five or however many you want as as long as there are any because there is a very limited supply. It'll be in the catladyfitness.com shop and just check out the link that I'll leave below because if you get more than one, then you also get a special little deal. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making these. So happy the kitties love them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.